Here we are sitting in our new 18 JL. It's not running as you can see, and I'm not going to start it, but we're going to take a look at some of the functionality of the CAN interface. So here's our tachometer. Let's start with that. You can see that we're at zero. If we had an LT in this, we'd be idling at about 500 RPM. Now, we're going to show you some graduations here on the tachometer that can be driven through the CAN interface, and basically what will happen is, let's go up to 1,000. Let's go to 2,000. Let's go to 3,000. Let's go to 4,000. Tell you what, let's go all the way up to 7,000, which is maximum RPM. And essentially, while we're doing this, this is going to be correlated exactly one-to-one -one with the GM SAE RPM, which means it's going to be just as accurate on this tachometer as it would be inside of the GM computer. So let's bring the tachometer back to zero. Let's check out our coolant temp function. So by me cycling through the pages here, you can see that we're currently at 190 degrees. Let's take control of this coolant temp. Okay, so now we have control of this coolant temp gauge and you can see it's showing negative 40, which is going to be the minimum temperature that this operating system can see. Normal operating temperature is going to be somewhere between about 200 and 230, so let's pick a number out. Let's go to 219. Now, let's say that you were going to overheat your JK. Let's see how high this can go. Normally, 255 or so would be considered overheating. 265, most of the LSs will go into hot protection. This is interesting. When this JL gets above a certain temperature, the whole dash turns red. And this JL will read to over 400 degrees. Let's go to 417 degrees. Now I'm going to get not only a hot message, but then we'll end up seeing the actual value and you'll see the whole dash turns red. So that's kind of cool. You're never going to miss that. Let's try something else. Let's try oil pressure. All right, let's see what our oil pressure does. So we're sitting here idling at about 10 PSI. Let's bring it up to 40 PSI. Now something interesting, if we drop this oil pressure to zero, the engine will shut off. So we have control of that. Let's bring it up to maximum. Let's bring it up to 140-ish. PSI, 147. All right, let's bring it back down to 10. Now, can we bring this back to actual oil pressure? So now we're setting it to actual oil pressure. This JL's idling at about 30 PSI.